all the Plutonian ever wanted was to be given the chance to relive his life by going back in time. For he had once tried it under the tutelage of Samsara, who was back then inhabited by the enigmatic Modius in using the Sapphire of Ishwa. But it failed. For as much as the Plutonian might come across narcissistic, he does have a conscience, not just in a way that makes sense to everyone. The basic concept which is causing a rift between the Plutonian and Cubit stems from the understanding of what Cubit meant by turning back the clock. For the Plutonian took Cubit's words out of context in which Cubit explained to the Plutonian that if he actually wanted to send him back in time like the way he thought, he would have sent the Plutonian to the prehistoric era in where he would have to deal and contend with prehistoric monsters when he first shed his innocent blood. For in all honesty, since they had been friends, the Plutonian had never known Cubit to lie. For he looks up to Cubit because Cubit is a man of high moral standard. And this angers the Plutonian the more as he now can visualize that him going back in time was a pipe's dream. For Malus is dead. And at this time, the world was at the brink of destruction in a few hours or minutes away to the end. The Plutonian intention was to kill Cubit, but Cubit played one on him that he should remember that he locked Modius in one of his psionic shield in his faculty and that if the Plutonian eliminates him, it will give Modius the opportunity to use his binary packet consciousness to inhabit the Plutonian, that he still stand by the ideal and frankly he doesn't understand the Plutonian's hesitation in saving the world. For back then, the Plutonian would have done it without a question. For he understands the excitement the Plutonian gets when there is cracks in his moral code. But that he promised that their deal still stands. Cubit further made a confession to the Plutonian. The one time he ever murdered a man. As the Plutonian thought Cubit was talking about Malus. The truth about Malus is this. He died but not by Cubit delimiting his powers. For as much as Cubit tried to help Malus, he ended up starving himself to death than remain one more day in the population prison of Genom. So Cubit showed the Plutonian the candle of Naru Visna, which was shaped into a bullet by the late Betty Noor. For when the candle of Naru Vishna is burnt in close proximity to the Plutonian, he becomes mortal and possibly vulnerable. For on that day, when the late Betinor pulled the trigger aiming at the heart of the Plutonian, Cubit used his time interpolation to divert the bullet to kill the deceitful Orion. And since then, Cubit had kept the bullet with no one knowing the wiser. Then Cubit made the bullet disappear as the Plutonian wasn't sure if he should be grateful. So Cubit reminded the Plutonian about his confession on what he meant by the one time he ever murdered a man. Apparently, he was talking about the Plutonian. For when Cubit made the candle of Naru Visna shaped in a bullet disappeared, he used his time interpolation to lodge the bullet in the Plutonian's heart as leverage. This really infuriated the Plutonian, letting Cubit understand that he should not think this gives him leverage, for he can think of half a dozen way around the bullet, but Cubit dared the Plutonian. For whether the Plutonian likes it or not, time was of the essence. And if Cubit takes his mind off the bullet in his heart for a second, it might eventually explode and atomize the Plutonian. Now, I want you all to understand one thing. This was part of Cubit's plan, which projects onto the deal he made with the Plutonian in sending him back in time, in which he promised he will. But before that could happen, the Plutonian has to become a hero one more time, a hope for the future, a savior, and being the people's champion. For as much as the Plutonian comes across like he doesn't care, deep in his heart, he does. For he was once a hero, and as they say, old habits die hard. For Cubit 
had made a polyatomic adjustment to the late Betty Nor's gravity energy, which will scrub the earth off the radiation. But only our hero, the Plutonian, is capable and strong enough to move this gravitation energy. As the Plutonian picked up the gravitation energy for its absorption effect has a wide radius which will consume the poisonous radiation from the atmosphere. But remember, it's supposed to send the radiation into a black hole after disengagement as Qubit told the Plutonian to circle every inch of the globe as fast as possible. Now, few minutes before the possibility of the world coming to an end, Gilgamesh and Kaidan had finally come to a decision to plant the ancient seeds from the tree of life. For when the seeds are planted, Gilgamesh will bless the ancient seeds in the soil with sacred words. And when the tree grows, its roots will spread through the globe wherever any living organism, human and beast dwell. And in this moment, the world becomes forever immortal as this will surely eradicate the radiation but with the implication of turning off the clock of death for humanity which will result into the gates of the afterlife being shut making Kaidan lose her powers of summoning past ancient warriors and worst of all for humanity time will cease which will affect everyone's physical form no growth no diseases no death in full tears Kaidan dropped the seeds but from nowhere through his quantum jumper Qubit catch the seeds letting them know that he had convinced the Plutonian to save humanity and for the first time in a long time Qubit has hope the Plutonian flew further with all his strength in full speed using the gravitation energy to consume the radiation from the atmosphere and all eyes could see him doing wonders for it was unbelievable for he was once a hero for he who is the prince of darkness the angel of doom and the progenitor of destruction has transformed into their hero their savior and their redeemer as they remember that he was once a hero and to cubit's calculation the plutonian pushed further with the gravitation energy it worked the gravitation energy consumed the whole radiation from the atmosphere the earth shook and the sea roared in his final step to clean the earth and at the appointed time the plutonian in serious pain disengaged with the gravitation energy as cubit opened the teleporter to his quantum jumper and send the gravitation energy to a black hole but at the same time a disheveled plutonian crash landed as his body began to deform as he told Qubit he should have killed him when he had the chance. Qubit, not giving any attention to the Plutonian's threat, immediately ordered Gilgamesh and Kaidan to surround the Plutonian with his enlarged quantum jumper, in which they did. You see, what happened here to the Plutonian was inevitable. For remember, the radioactive energy that is the radiation was initially unstable at the beginning. For when the gravitation energy was scrubbing and consuming the radiation in order to stabilize and contain it, it decided to pass the radiation onto the plutonium as a vessel. For remember, the radioactive energy was specifically built to withhold his parents, the Elios. The Plutonian, who was melting and dying, told Qubit he lied to him. Qubit thought he meant the radiation, but the Plutonian was talking about their bargain, the deal he made with him in Qubit sending him back in time. So Qubit told him that the deal still stands. For sending him back in time is not the way he thinks, for his mortal body won't live, for he is more than flesh and blood, an idea come to life, a given form of purpose, for in all honesty, Qubit believed in the Plutonian, not excusing the Plutonian's atrocities, but Qubit understood he lived an unbalanced life from one extreme to the other, for he was raised as a baby by a psychotic foster mother who was suicidal, and then raised by an extremely pious man who cares more for others than himself. With the brilliant mind of Modius and his, Qubit used his quantum jumper to open portals in way he has ever done before and these were portals to worlds upon worlds to hundreds of dimension in thousands of realities 
So the Plutonian asked him why he was doing this for him. For in all fairness, he doesn't deserve this. But Cupid made him understand that he believes he deserves a fair chance as he returned to his essence, a rebirth, a new beginning with a clear conscience, not feeling guilty of anything. As the Plutonian's essence split into different particles and passed through the teleportals into worlds upon worlds to hundreds of dimension in thousands of realities in places he will be seen as a hero.